Deborah James has told how she's determined not to die over the Jubilee weekend as she admits that she's so angry to be dying. In a new interview, the BBC podcast host, 40, shared an update after almost a month of receiving at-home hospice care at her parents' home. It comes as the country is celebrating the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations over the four-day weekend. The star shared the update amid the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations, which she said she was determined to make through. However, she added that she didn't want to be upstaged by one person in particular. Deborah said, I'm determined not to die over the Jubilee weekend, I don't want Meghan stealing my thunder. I haven't worked so hard to raise cancer awareness and money to help find a cure, only to miss out on another sun front page when I go, she said to the publication. The podcast star went on to recall her last month at her parents' home where she is receiving hospice care, candidly admitting that she's struggled with the past week. She heartbreakingly explained, dying is really hard. I've been consumed by anger this week, in all honesty, I've been a real bh. Deborah went on to say that she's been pushing people away as she's angry at her illness. She added that she had decided to only spend time with family as she doesn't want her friends to remember her as how she is now. Last month, the mother of two issued a heartbreaking final Instagram post to her fans as she announced that she is receiving hospice at home care at her parents' home. Taking to Instagram in view of her 404k followers, the 40-year-old wrote, The message I never wanted to write. We have tried everything, but my body simply isn't playing ball. My active care has stopped and I am now moved to hospice at home care, with my incredible family all around me and the focus is on making sure I'm not in pain and spending time with them. Nobody knows how long I've got left but I'm not able to walk, I'm sleeping most of the days, and most things I took for granted are pipe dreams. Dot she continued, I know we have left no stone unturned. But even with all the innovative cancer drugs in the world or some magic new breakthrough, my body just can't continue anymore. Deborah built up an enormous fan base since she was diagnosed with stage 3 bowel cancer in 2016, which went on to become stage 4, meaning it was incurable. The BBC podcast host has been the face of the No Butts campaign, helping people to spot the signs of bowel cancer early, and has now set up a fund for bowel cancer charities, called the Bowel Babe Fund. She continued, in over five years of writing about how I thought it would be my final Christmas, how I wouldn't see my 40th birthday nor see my kids go to secondary school, I never envisaged writing the one where I would actually say goodbye. I think it's been the rebellious hope in me. But I don't think anyone can say the last six months has exactly been kind. It's all heartbreaking to be going through but I'm surrounded by so much love that if anything can help me through I hope that will. She signed off her heartfelt post, right now for me it's all about taking it a day at a time, step by step and being grateful for another sunrise. My whole family are around me and we will dance through this together, sunbathing and laughing, I'll cry, at every possible moment. You are all incredible, thank you for playing your part in my journey. No regrets. Enjoy life x Deborah, she ended her post, 